lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Here we are. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back my lovelies. As you guys can see here, we have been highly requested glamour spells. Spells that are glamour is to bring out, it's almost as a igniting the vessel within you to bring out your best attributes and qualities. It is uh, almost connected to what we do when we speak about mirror magic. And we have tons of those videos coming for you guys. As like I said, I've been getting a lot of requests for glamour magic and that is exactly what we're doing. Now, glamour magic is not only used to bring out your best attributes and your best qualities, but it can also serve you when we're talking about career, when we're talking about um, your profession, when we're talking about dealing with people in general. Um, now, I'm sure you've met or dealt with people that have this amazing energy. The moment they walk in the room, they draw all kind of attention. People are more susceptible to being nicer to you, to give you opportunities, to open new doors for you if they feel enchanted by you. Meaning if they feel like they are more drawn or pulled or attracted to you. And that is just facts. <laughs> so if you have a tendency and I've dealt with clients that when they come to me, they have very heavy energy, very uh, not necessarily negative in the aspect of negative in the aspect of like caring bad juju or anything like that. No, it's just that some people do have a stronger energy vibe. And if you are not surrounded by positive people, it can be very almost feed off of your energy and it just becomes a bit repulsive. And we're talking about energetically wise when people are around you if you feel like you never really grab people's attention or like people are just kind of turned off by you or rude to you everywhere you go, it's like people are just not really vibing with you. It could be that you're dragging other people's energy or it could be that your energy in itself is strong. However, you're not knowing how to direct that energy and how ground or how to ground yourself. So what happens is that people are just, it's an energy repulse, um, energy repulsive uh, sense that they're feeling that they just feel like they want to pull back. I'm sure you've came across, especially in the work field, uh, dealt with employees or coworkers or people that you just can't stand and you can't understand why it's because of that because they're carrying a lot of negative energy like i said it doesn't have to be their energy it could be the people that they are around or choose to surround themselves with especially if there's a lot of toxicity in the home so anyways glamour spells are not just used for love although it is primarily used for that um but like i said you will start to notice whether you do this for love to draw in and, and what we're doing today is specifically to draw love in. However, when you do this, you will start to notice that people are more, more like susceptible to being kinder to you, to being nicer to you. Um, if you're the type that, as an example, <coughs> excuse me, as an example, I had a client tell me one time um, that they wouldn't even hold the door for her, right? <laughs> It's kind of messed up, but it does happen. And you'll start to notice people holding the door for you. You'll start to notice people really deliberately going out of their way to help you or to make you feel like you're seen or like you are appreciated. Um, people will randomly um, give you compliments. And like I said, this could affect you in every single aspect of your life. It's not just primarily for love, although this spell, we are doing it for love. It can be used and implemented for all kinds of um, any kind of space in your life, right? Any area. Um, so if you do this, like I said, this is a love spell, but it's glamour spell. And um, like I said, you can do this obviously for love, but you'll also start to notice in other areas of your life, people are just more, um, I guess you could say, more prone to being nicer, kinder, um, helpful basically is the word helpful. Uh, and the reason for this is because there is a, uh, 
empowering energy that comes with glamour and magic. So what are we going to need? It's very simple, yet very powerful. When doing the spell, make sure to do it on a Friday, and it has to be done at 9 p.m. Okay, so it has to be done on a Friday at 9 p.m. Does the moon phase matter? Just make sure that it's not in the waning phase. So it could be anything from new moon all the way to full moon. So as an example, you guys can do it the next coming Friday because we are in the waxing um, or we just entered the new moon going towards waxing. So again, of course, if you time it and really draw in closer to new moon or to the full moon, it will be that much more stronger and empowered. What is it that you're going to need? You probably have these ingredients at home. You need some cinnamon. You need some brown sugar. You need a, uh, a votive red candle, milk, and a rose. Now, the color of the rose, uh, preferably red or pink. However, if you're drawn to any other ones that, as an example, if yellow is your color, and you really love the the yellow um, then you can definitely use that for this if you love white you can do it as well but for love I would highly encourage doing red or pink okay all right you're also going to be needing some honey you're going to be needing a white strip of paper you're going to be needing a number two pencil and a pink marker okay so like I said, make sure to do this on a Friday at 9 p.m. All right, so <clears throat> like I said, it's Glamour Magic. So we are going to, um, I'm going to take you guys step by step. So let's begin here. You're going to get the white strip of paper, <coughs> excuse me, and you're going to write down your full name as an example. So you're going to write down your full name and your date of birth, okay? So you would put your date of birth like this. Your first and last name and your date of birth. Okay, then we're going to get the pink marker. And over your name, you're going to spell... You're going to spell, I welcome love in, okay, like this. Now, if you're doing this as an example, if you're having a lot of trouble at work or your boss doesn't like you or your coworkers don't like you, whatever the situation is, you can do this, right? And it will still affect that situation in a positive way. It will transform it. It will make them like you. They will make It will make you more likable. So you can do this, like I said, for love, but it's going to affect every single aspect of your life where people are not necessarily naturally drawn to you or if you're not necessarily easy to be liked. And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. There's just people that just have that vibe. And it's okay. This is why we have glamour and magic because we can fix anything. <laughs> All right. So you're going to write your first name, last name, date of birth. Then you're going to write with the red uh, or pink marker um, on top of your name. Welcome. I welcome love in. Okay. So once that is done, you no longer need the pen and the marker. So I'm going to put these away. <coughs> All right, so I forgot to mention you are going to be needing a um, a perfume, your preference of perfume. This is the perfume that you use, not necessarily on an everyday basis, but your favorite, the one that when you go out and you feel you're you're feeling spiffy and you're feeling brand new and like a million bucks, that's the perfume you put. That's the perfume we're gonna use. If you don't use any type of perfume, it's okay. We also have something for that. What you're going to do, as an example, if you use any type of oil-based perfume, you can use that oil. But let's say, for example, I know I get uh, comments sometimes where there's perfume that's integrated and they're like, I don't use any type of perfume. That's okay. It's going to sound a little nasty, but what you can do is 
you can get this strip with your first name, last name, date of birth, and um, with the words, I welcome love in. And what you're going to do is you can put this in your armpit and stay with it for like 30 minutes to 40 minutes just so that it can take in your scent, okay? Um, I, on the other hand, as an example, I have, uh, uh, perfumes are an obsession of mine, so let me, give me one second. I'm just what you're going to do is you're going to spray on it once or twice like this, and like I said, make sure to wear your favorite perfume, the perfume that you naturally use. Um, you're gonna spray it once or twice. Let me put this here. Now we're going to get the milk and you're going to pour this in. Okay, so you're going to wet it. Now we're gonna do the other ingredients, okay? So we are going to get the sugar, pour it inside. You're going to get the cinnamon. Oh, made a mess. You don't need to put very much, but I love to be abundant with cinnamon. Uh, cinnamon is a very powerful uh, attraction ingredient. Um, it is very fiery, it is very passionate, very intense, and it works very quickly. Whenever you add cinnamon to any of your spell work, um, it is extremely, it's almost like, uh, it serves almost like a precipitation oil or powder um, because it makes it very quickly. All right, so once you do that, what you're going to do now is you are going to, like you guys seen, <coughs> You're going to um, move it around, okay? Keep in mind that your paper with your name is still on here. All right. So what we're going to do now is you're going to get the votive candle and you're going to write your first and last name on this candle. Okay, so you're going to write down your first and last name on this votive candle, as you guys can see. Once you do that, what you're going to do now is you're going to prepare it. So we are going to, let me take the wick out really quick. We're going to put the votive candle inside and we are going to chant. Give me a second. Okay, once that is done, what you're going to do is you're going to repeat this chant <clears throat> with your prominent hand. If you're right-handed, you would put your right hand. If you're left-handed, you would put your left. And you're going to chant, my milk and honey, I combine you. Substance and sweetness to draw from you is my desire. Oh, my cinnamon, loan me your fire passion to bring to me my desire. With sugar and spice, I welcome a fiery and exciting new love life. Okay? Once that is done, you're going to pull out the votive candle. You're going to put it in your plate or tray wherever you're doing this. You're also going to be bringing out the strip with your name on it. Okay. You're gonna roll it all out like this and you're going to put it in your tray, bowl or plate, whatever you're using, and you're gonna let that dry. Now what we're going to do now is we're going to get the rose 
okay? And you're going to speak to it. You're going to, what we're doing is we're going to enchant the rose, all right? So you're going to hold the rose and you're going to pray or chant. Enchanted rose beaming with love and grace, lend me your natural ways. Give to me your beauty and scent to draw true love my way. You draw glances and stares from all who pass by you. To have attain you is their true desire. Let your essence engulf me to become a magnet to love and all the joys that it brings. From far or near, when I speak, they shall hear. Hypnotized by your sweet divinity, make me like you. Enchanted rose, for no one can resist you. Give to me the confidence to shine. The beauty as within, so without, make me irresistible. Draw suitors my way, let love reign. At this very hour, the spell is done. It's Venus night. Let me be a magnet to all that my heart desires. Okay? So once that is done, and for those of you guys that didn't really understand, the I'm going to put in the description box, you'll be able to find the uh, enchantments. Once that is done, you're going to then kiss the rose, and you're going to put it like this. Okay? It's going to look something like this. Now, what the next step is, is you're going to put this in your freezer so that it can become. Let me cleanse this real quick, you guys. <coughs> so what you're going to do is you're going to put that in the freezer because you're going to be using that for seven days, okay? For seven days. So the concoction of the milk, the concoction of the rose, the cinnamon, right? You're going to put that in the freezer. Now, before we go to the next step, this is where you're going to pass some of the sugar on the rose and on the milk. Okay. Now, like I said, you're, this is going to be going into the freezer. But before we do that, before we put it in the freezer, we're going to go to the next step here, which is step number two. All right. So once that is done, let me put the wick back in there. Okay. So once that is done, you're going to get the rose and the milk with your paper that has your name in it, your information, and your candle, all right? So what we're gonna do now is you're going to light the candle, and you're gonna leave this out uninterrupted. You're not gonna mess with it. You're not gonna touch it. Once you light the candle, you're gonna wait for the candle to completely extinguish, to completely finish. Once it is done, it should take between 30 minutes to maybe an hour, probably less, you guys. If it's faster, you guys already know how we burn candles. If it burns rather quick, it means the manifestation happens that quick. If it takes, you know, from 30 minutes to 40 minutes, that's normal. Uh, if it takes an hour, then you wait that hour. Once this is done, once the candle has been completely extinguished, this is going to go in your freezer and you're going to freeze it. You're gonna leave it in the freezer all night or, or overnight, <coughs> excuse me. The next day, this paper should be dry. So before you pull this out from the freezer, you're gonna get the piece of paper once it's dry and you're gonna burn it. You're gonna burn the paper. Now, once you burn the paper, what you're going to do is you're going to take the ashes outside to the entrance of your home and you're going to blow on them. OK, so this is a uh, a calling is what we do or what we call it. It's called a calling. Whenever you do, you use the fire element um, to call in or to basically to uh, begin uh, or not necessarily begin. What's the word I'm looking for? Um, 
to what was I going to say? To activate the spell. So once you burn the paper, you're going to stay with the ashes. You're going to go to the entrance of your home and you're going to blow on those ashes to activate the spell. Once that is done, what you're going to do then is you're going to take out, and I'm going to show you guys. You burn the paper and you throw the ashes at the entrance of your home. You're then going to go to your freezer. You're going to pull out this, which is going to look like this. Okay. Let me show you. It's dripping a bit. Okay. And what it is, it's basically the rose with the milk and all the other properties. And what you're going to do every single day, every single day, when you get ready, when you jump in a shower, um, what you're going to do is you're going to rub you're going to rub this every single day on your face and on your body. So my advice would be to use it as an example to uh, rub it on your face before, you know, when you're washing your teeth. Uh, this is like a daily routine that you're going to be doing. And basically, you're going to be rubbing it on your face, right? And what you could do is use very little you don't need very much of it because you're going to be using this for seven days you're going to do this consecutively for seven days and you're going to pass this on your face obviously on your body when you're showering you can take it and you're going to rub it on important places in your body if you're a woman for example you're going to pass it let's say this is your face you're going to put it on your face you're going to rub it and you're also going to, um, as an example, if you don't mind cold things like having this ice on you, you can pass it as an example by your breasts, by your stomach, by your legs. Men, you can also do this um, and you would do the same thing. Now, I preferably use it just to wash my face. I keep it um, for seven days. I take it out every day, right? I take it out from the freezer. I put it on my face like this I put it back in the container and back it goes in the freezer and I rub this on my face once that is done I just rinse it with water that's all you're gonna do you're not going you're not going to wash it with soap after that because it defeats the purpose okay it is enchanted it is empowered and it is consecrated so you want to make sure that once you put this on your face, you rinse it off with water, warm luke water, and that's it. And then you go about your business. You're going to do this for seven days. I guarantee you guys that if you do this with faith, and don't forget to do it for seven days. You can do it for longer, um, but as an example, if you, if you feel that it's very time consuming, um, what you can do is on the seventh day, Right on the seventh day, if you still have like let's say half of this, what you can do is you can put run the bath water and put it and let it melt, and it's going to empower the water so that then you can take a beauty uh, a beauty bath, um, which is some of the things that I opt to do as an example when I am extremely busy and hectic, um, and I don't want to keep doing the routine. That's what I would do, but however. It doesn't, you know, take very much. I always have some in my refrigerator, even if like, let's say I did it this month and I don't start to use it till next month, it doesn't matter. You can leave it in the freezer and you can use it. And every time you use it, you're going to notice that people are more prone to being more loving, more helpful, more, uh, for those of you guys that run your own business, you'll start to notice that people are easily being drawn to you because there's no resistance of energy. Your energy is very receptive. Um, and like I said, if you run your own business, you'll start to notice clientele start to grow. If, like I said, you're having trouble at work, you'll start to notice that people are more pleasing and more um, uh, wanting to get along with you and more harmonious. Like, uh, you'll start to notice, even if you're great with, let's say you're great with your boss, you'll start to notice that they're more thoughtful. They'll show up with Starbucks or 
they will easily give you a raise, stuff like that. And it's because it is obviously affecting your energy in a very positive way. So my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, Lucy, you were one of the ones that requested this glamour spell. I hope it brings to you a lot of blessings and you guys are going to be surprised by the suitors that start to show up or that start to really, uh, that you start to really draw in. Um, and like I said, for some of you guys, you'll even notice that your luck starts to change. A lot of the time, sometimes people are uh, in the love romantic department are blocked. So you'll start to notice that things start to move in a very positive way. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this spell. If you did, like, share, and comment. Don't forget to come back if you try it. Def definitely let us know what your results were so that everyone else that watches or sees the comments uh, can get a little feedback of your experience. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see each other soon. Till then, bye-bye. <laughs>